Welcome to what's new in NX12. I'm going to continue today with uh, the, the, what's the changes in, in the user interface. These changes show the, uh, my tabs up here. And I want to arrange those tabs in a predefined layout. So I come up here to Window, go to Window Layout, and I can do three tabbed groups, four tabbed groups, or up to six if I had six tabs open. So I'm going to pick one of the three tabbed groups here, and I see how it lays my, my parts out. I've got an assembly drawing here sitting on top of my assembly itself. As I rotate this around, I see that I'm I'm missing some holes in here. When I zoom in, I see that I have a that's a half inch 13. So I'll right click on this and open in window. It opens up in the same in the same window there. And actually that was the wrong part. Let's go back up to my shock tower. I want to get this one. Open that in the window, and I see that I've got my wavelength body used to create the top part. I'll use that to create a hole. Screw clearance hole for half inch through the body will work. And go ahead and apply that. I've got my half inch holes through there. I'll zoom in on my drawing and I'll update the view. I hope my holes show up and as you can see up here my toolbars are changing as I switch applications. Maybe I'll throw a couple alignments in here like that and continue drafting. And I also want to get my my assembly drawing over here. I can adjust my real estate with my uh, pretty standard windows uh, pull around so I can adjust what I'm looking at and uh, figure out uh, a nice layout that works for me. And I see that uh, when I make my assembly tab active, I see that I have my views need to be updated. So update all those views. Another thing I can do, and this actually started in NX11, is I can, I've got multiple arrangements in my assembly file. So let's go back up to the top level assembly. If I look at that, I've got an arrangement that has a different position in it. It moves it to the other end. I can right click on my view and go to edit and I can pick the arrangement that I want to show in that view. It says position 2 and I see this kind of a halfway preview on here but I also notice that my part navigator shows that I'm out of date. I'll update that date and fit my screen. So I can change the the arrangement re really quickly that's shown in a view. And as I get uh, more and more clear with this. I can go ahead and close one of these windows. Oh, I don't want to close that one. I just want to bring that one back over here to this window. And I can switch between, rotate around, see what's going on with it, and then continue drafting my parts. If I'm done with that, uh, come up here to Window, Layout. I can either hit the one tabbed group or hit Reset Layout, and it will reset my layout into a, a Kind of a flat tabbed approach and I can then go back to control tab to jump between my parts. On this one I'll probably want to turn layer 125 off so my my linked body goes away and go back into my drawing and finish updating everything that's there. Thank you for watching what's new in NX12.